everyone thank you for tuning into my channel so today I'm here with a spring empties so summer just officially began and I figured let me do my spring empty so you can see what I used during the spring a lot of companies started to launch new collections and they've been sending them to me so I in an effort to like use these things and put out videos for you all. I haven't really been using some of the other things I have that I really need to finish. So this one's gonna be a quick one. And Elle and I have a very special announcement for you all. Elle is going to be launching a new toddler channel. Yay! Mama, say subscribe to my channel, please. <laughs> say we're talking about my hair. Look right here and say it. Say we're talking about my hair. Talking about my hair. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes, I decided to launch a toddler channel. It won't be exclusively natural hair. For those of you who grew up on this channel with me, you know we now have kids. We started off with no kids, and now we have kids. And the request to make videos on baby kids, you know, toddlers hair, has been coming on more and more and more. And I really didn't want to put videos of baby or children's hair care on this channel because honestly that's really not what this channel is about while it is a natural hair and beauty channel I want this channel to stay true for the mature woman or the young lady who's growing up and coming into her own and I know personally that if I start making videos of Elle's hair on this channel one y'all ain't gonna come here for me no mo just keeping it real. I feel like a channel that's tailored just for women who have children or fathers who have daughters or who are care taking care of their hair and also young girls children who will be growing up watching YouTube like my son he watches YouTube I feel like watching the channel with just L will be much more entertaining and if she wants to talk about her toys if she wants to read a book if she wants to you know just sing and dance I feel like it will make more sense to have a place for her to do that versus only doing things with hair here and then having another channel where she can kind of become into her own so we're gonna have a new channel and please subscribe to that channel you can actually click right over here so that you can subscribe to you want more banana okay we're gonna get more banana right now say bye to everybody Bye. okay so let's get into the video um, let's just start off with hair for hair I finally finished this Curly Bell Thursday Curls Leave-In Conditioner. If you were a subscriber in 2015, at the very beginning of the year, I did a twist out using the Curly Bell products and I used this leave-in. I finally finished it. It's really good, guys. So if you're looking for a nice creamy leave-in like me, I love creamy leave-ins. This is a good option for you. And the next product that I finished is the um, Ever Butter Moisture Retention Butter Mint Smoothie. This has probably been like the fourth one that I've finished in, in the last two years. This is a really good moisturizer. I featured this product in numerous videos and numerous empties. So you guys have to know that this is one product that I highly recommend. All right, and then I have the Shea Moisture 100% Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. This product, while it can be used for hair I find myself using it less and less for hair and more and more for body we use this as a whole family mostly on my children's skin after bath time we slather this all over their skin and next for body I have not one but two of the butter bodies whipped body butters I mean how many times do I have to talk about these products they are amazing. This fragrance is coconut and this fragrance is Japanese cherry blossom. Uh, both of these fragrances are pretty amazing. Right now we're using cherry almond and it smells like candy. But I love these products. I talk about them pretty much in every empties video. Get you some. <laughs> And we also used up another Nikki's Naturals Body Mousse. This is another one that I talked about a lot that's really good. And I finished the Shea Moisture Fruit Fusion Coconut Water Bubble Body Bubble Bath and Body Wash. I really like this one. I've used a lot of the other ones, but I really like the fragrance of this one. And right now, I currently have another Shea Moisture Body Wash. I've been using body washes a lot lately. I'm using the African Water Mint with... Um, 
activated charcoal in it so you'll see that one soon because I'm almost done it and I used up another of my favorite moisturizer this is the body shop vitamin C daily moisturizer with SPF this is my favorite facial moisturizer it is one of the only ones I use because I ran out of this, I started using the Shea Moisture uh, Spot Correcting Serum, which is really good on the skin and I really like it. I've been using it since this ran out at the beginning of the season. And my only drawback with that one is that it doesn't have any SPF like this one. So I need to get another one of these ASAP because I need to protect this youthful skin, y'all. <laughs> And I used up another of my Clinical Strength Secret Clear Gel. I, I mentioned before in the winter one, I believe, that I started using this because I wax my underarms now. And since doing that, I feel like my sweat is a lot more under my arms than it used to be when I just shaved. And when it comes to like beauty items, I used up this Urban Decay. This is the um, eye primer. I've actually had this one for years. I would probably say maybe four years. It's the only one I've ever bought and I've been using it like nonstop. I just, this, I don't even understand how I could have had something like this for so long. But maybe because I don't wear eye makeup every day, like today I'm not wearing eye makeup, I just put on some mascara. But I mean, this is something that lasted forever. I think it was like $28 if I'm not mistaken or maybe this size is 32 but great investment keeps your eye makeup on forever i i'm gonna be buying some back i haven't done it yet but i will be and then i have the mac this is the select moisture concealer and this is actually in my color nw45 um, i did my best to try to make this last by pulling out the little insert there and i would stick my brush in it to get as much out because this doesn't really touch the bottom but i've had this for a couple years and the way that i use this select moisture concealer is to cover any blemishes like i have a blemish here and i have a blemish up here they might not be that noticeable unless i come like right in your face because I put this on top of it and I also use it under my eyes to brighten them up but not to highlight to make any dark circles that I have kind of just go away which is the purpose of a concealer so that concludes my spring empties don't forget please subscribe to Elle's channel it's already up there's no videos just yet but there will be videos there very very soon and if you know a mom who is in need of toddler hair care videos please let her know that this channel is going to be launching very very soon so she can subscribe now and let me know what empties you used during the spring now that we're moving into summer and I'll see you in the next video as always I love you for watching bye